In lesson two, we're going to learn about the different types of action queries, what they are, what they do, and when you should use them. And we'll talk about backing up your data before running action queries. So far, all of the queries that we've designed in class have been select queries. Select queries are by far the most popular types of queries, and they're used for displaying data from the tables in different ways. You can say, show me all the records from the customer table, or show me all of the orders from the order table that are less than a month old. But essentially, select queries are used for selecting and displaying specific sets of data, but not actually doing anything to that data. Now, action queries, on the other hand, are used for modifying or manipulating the data in the tables. Whereas you only look at data with select queries, you're actually going to change data with action queries. Now, there are four main types of action queries. Update queries, append queries, delete queries, and make table queries. Update queries are used for changing the data in your table. For example, you can say change all of the customers with the last name Smith to Jones. Or change all of the orders with a 5% discount to a 7% discount. An update query is used to change the data in existing records. An append query is used to add records to a table. Let's say you've imported some new data. Maybe you downloaded some financial information or someone sent it to you on a spreadsheet. You can import that information into your database, and now you've got another table that you want to put it in. You can use an append query to copy the data from one table to another one. For example, in class, we're going to take our contacts, we're going to take our old contacts, we're going to append them into a backup table, like an archive table, then we're going to use the next item here, a delete query, to delete them out of the original table. So an append query adds records onto a table, copies them basically from one table to another one. Then a delete query can delete records out of a table. Be careful with delete queries. They can be dangerous. Usually append and delete queries work together to archive data from one table to another one. Old orders, old customer information, etc. Then finally, you've got a make table query. Make table queries are great for making new tables. Kind of, uh, kind of obvious, but that's what they do. For example, let's say you want to create a special table with only a set of your customer data. You have to send it maybe to a, uh, a different division or a mailing list company. You don't want to give them all of your data, just some of it. Maybe the customers that are getting holiday greeting cards, for example. You can run a make table query to export a specific set of data. So these four types of queries make up the action queries. Now before we get started with working with action queries, I have to remind you and warn you, please back up your database before you start playing with action queries. Now if you're just working on the database from class with me, yeah, you can just download another copy, not a problem. But if you're working with an actual production database with your customer information in it, with stuff that you might not want to have to retype, please back up your database file before you start playing with action queries. Of course, backing up your database is quite simply this easy. You find your database file in whatever folder you have it saved in. I have mine saved in a trusted folder on my desktop. Copy and paste it. Control C, Control V. And it's as easy as that. I've just made a copy of my database. Now if I mess this one up, I've got the backup copy sitting right there. Of course, it goes without saying that you should be backing up your critical files every night anyways using either a backup device in your office or preferably online backup. Online backup services are so inexpensive now, and with high-speed Internet, there's no reason why you shouldn't be backing up in an off-site facility in case your office or your house burn down. All your data is safe somewhere else. So make sure you use an online backup system. For some of my recommendations for the services that I use, Check out that, uh, that link right there, 599cd.com slash xbackup. That'll take you to a list of some of my recommended backup services. You should also back up any tables that you're planning on running 
an update query or an append query or a delete query on inside the database. This will prevent you from having to restore the whole file because that could be a pain too. So if you're going to do any kind of an action query on the activity T, for example, click on it, control C, control V, copy and paste. What do you want to copy it as? Copy of activity T is fine, structure and data, and then hit OK. And there's your copy right there. All right, just do that before you run any action queries in your database. I'm going to just delete that real quick. So now that we know what the different types of action queries are and what they do, and you've been warned about backing up your data, in the next lesson we'll get started with an update query.